Hey, what's up guys? I'm KB Kwan. Welcome back to another episode of Taste of Asian Food. Today, I'm going to make a traditional Chinese dessert called Fan Xu Dan, sweet potato balls. What you need? Some sweet potatoes, some tapioca flour, some sugar, and perhaps some salt. And that's all you need for this recipe. And the specialty of it is very cracky on the surface, and you'll find that it is hollow inside, and it's a little bit uh, soft and meaty inside. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make it. Peel the sweet potatoes. And then cut them into thin slices. Then steam the sweet potato slices until soft, which will take about 20 minutes. After about 20 minutes, let's take a look. Use a fork or a pair of chopsticks to press on it. Yeah, it is already soft and cooked. So I'm going to remove it from the steamer. Transfer the sweet potatoes into two separate mixing bowls. And then mash the sweet potatoes. While it's still warm, add the sugar. And if you like, just a pinch of salt. The sugar and salt will melt easily if you add it to the sweet potato when the potatoes are still, still warm. The next step is to add the tapioca flour to the potatoes. As a general rule, the amount of tapioca flour should be about half the amount of the sweet potatoes. So in this case, I have 200 grams of sweet potatoes and 100 grams of tapioca flour. However, the actual tapioca flour that we need to use may be vary, and it all depends on the moisture inside the sweet potatoes. Therefore, I'm going to use only half of the tapioca flour first and see what happens. Okay, the end point is to make a dough that is not sticky, clean from the bowl, and the texture is soft, it's pliable, it's like plasticine. And if you make it into a ball, it, it will not crack and it's still soft. That is the texture of the dough that we need. In my case, I did not use up the tapioca starch that I prepared because my sweet potatoes is pretty dry I'm using a steamer with holes. If I steam the sweet potatoes in a bowl, the bowl will capture some water and it will become more moist. And in that case, I will need more tapioca starch. Now roll out the dough. And divide them into equal portion. Each portion about 10 grams each. Then roll each portion to become a ball. Heat the oil to low temperature about 130 degrees Celsius. Then slide the sweet potato balls into the wok. Move, use a chopstick to move the balls around so that it will not stick together. If you find that the temperature is too high, you can switch off the stove. The goal now is to cook through the sweet potato balls so that it will cook inside. If the temperature is too high, the outside will cook and brown, but the inside is still not cooked.
after about two minutes you will find that they will start to float on top and the volume will expand so now what I can do is to use this ladle to press them back down to the bottom and roll them around so that all the sweet potato balls will then be cooked evenly you will also notice that now the size start to expand and eventually this ball will double its volume after they float on top for about two to three minutes and the color start to change remove from the wok and now turn up the heat when the temperature has already reached about 170 degrees celsius put the balls back to the hot oil and fry it again briefly to make it crispy when the ball has turned to golden brown about one minute in hot oil remove them quickly deep fry the same way for the remaining of the potato balls sweet potato ball is a traditional Malaysian Chinese dessert perfect for tea time or as snacks usually we just serve like that but you can always add some icing sugar on top or even drizzle it with some melted chocolate or honey that's how to make sweet potato balls fun xu dan and i hope you will love it as usual i have included the recipe in the description box below the video please subscribe tap the notification and give me a thumbs up and i'll see you again in some other similar videos bye for now